So starting with the female reproductive system, so this is effectively looking front on. So the entrance of the female reproductive system is known as the vagina. So what is the function of the vagina? Well, it's where the penis engages during sexual intercourse. And really what it does is it stimulates the penis and causes ejaculation. So that's the exit of semen and other seminal fluids into the female body. So it causes ejaculation, which is the release of semen. It has a second role during childbirth, which is that it acts as the birth canal. So that's a route effectively out of the body for the fetus to travel along before it exits the body. Now the uterus here, this is where the fetus is located when it's growing during the gestation period of a female. So while she's pregnant, the fetus will grow within the uterus. So the location of the fetus during pregnancy and coupled with that it provides protection food and oxygen for the fetus it also removes waste products next up the ovaries there's two of them the ovaries are super important because they manufacture eggs And they also secrete sex hormones such as oestrogen, which is responsible for making the lining of the uterus thick. And it's so important that the uterus lining is thick in order to enable a fertilised egg to implant. So we know that the ovary produces eggs. Those eggs are released into the fallopian tube. They travel along the fallopian tube to approximately this point where fertilization occurs. So notice that the sperm, once it's been ejaculated into the vagina of the woman, has to swim a pretty long way through the cervix, through the uterus, and then along the fallopian tube until it meets an egg. Now the other name for the fallopian tube, which you may be familiar with, is the oviduct. These names are interchangeable. So the fallopian tube is the site of fertilization. That's when the egg and sperm fuse. Let's make a note on the cervix. So it's the entrance of the uterus and it dilates during childbirth. So when you see TV shows and they're like, she's 10 centimetres dilated, they're really talking about the cervix and how much it's opened in order to enable the baby to exit the body. And if we just take a look at the side view, as you would expect, we've got the fallopian tube linking the ovary to the uterus. Be aware that the bladder is also found here and remember it stores urine. At the entrance of the uterus, you find the cervix, which forms the boundary between the vagina and the uterus. So remember the vagina is going to open out into the outside world. It's where the penis engages during sexual intercourse and it's where the sperm is deposited. The tube running alongside that is the urethra. The function of the urethra is to transport urine from the bladder to the outside. The rectum is also close by. The rectum stores feces, poo. The anus is a ring of muscle found, again, forms a boundary between the inside and the outside of the woman. And it's where feces exit the body. Remember that process is known as egestion. And then finally, the vulva, which is made up of lots of different components, but really vulva is enough. The vulva protects the internal parts of the female reproductive system.